begin. Yes, it's really me, it's Maui, breathe it in. I know it's a lot, the hair, the bod. When you're staring at a demigod, what can I say except you're welcome for the tides, the sun, the sky? Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. I'm just an ordinary demigod. Hey, what has two thumbs and pulled up the sky? When you were waddling, yay, hi, this guy. When the nights got cold, who stole you fire from down below? <laughs> Look at him, yo. Oh, also I lasso the sun. You're welcome to stretch your days and bring you fun. Also I harness the breeze. You're welcome to fill your sails and shake your trees. So what can I say except you're welcome for the islands I pull from the sea. There's no need to pray. Welcome back, Flyers, to the early bird. Alongside me, as always, is the man, Mr. Shay Curry. What's up, Flyers? We have an amazing show for you today. We have our entertainment correspondent, Finn Shay, in the studio to talk all the tea in the land of the free and also global issues. So let's roll the intro. Welcome back to the early bird. Now, there's been a lot of drama recently among A-list celebrities, billionaires, and Jason Derulo. Here in the studio to talk about his opinions on these recent occurrences is the director of short film So Am I and the early bird's entertainment correspondent. Please welcome Finn Shay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for coming on the show, Finn. It's yeah, it's no problem. <laughs> so they time I schedule for this. Oh yeah, <laughs> thank God we like, found time for you to come on. Yeah. So talk about talk to me about Jason Derulo. What happened with this breakup and this whole relationship at the moment? So while the details are not exactly very clear, but we what we do know is Jason Derulo was in fact posting TikToks with his girlfriend that is now his ex within a week of the breakup. Oh. The TikTok caption. For this specific TikTok I'm talking about was when she calls you inside and I don't want to go in and he's just standing outside. It was insane. I think it really foreshadowed the incident. So with, do we think that that TikTok influenced the breakup? I feel as though it was the catalyst. It, it may be the only reason, in fact. Okay, might be that specific TikTok posted two weeks ago. Well, moving on from Jason Derulo, let's talk about Margot Robbie. Oh, my God. Margot Robbie has this new movie coming out directed by Wes Anderson next year. Give me your thoughts on that. Well, I truly believe, right, I mean, Wes Anderson's a genius, right? But not as much of a genius as Margot Robbie. Absolutely, I completely agree. Margot Robbie is, quite honestly, the greatest actress in all of Hollywood history. I mean, my favorite movies of all time is Suicide Squad, Birds of Prey, and Wolf of Wall Street. Of course, I mean, and there's only one reason for that. Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. I mean, the writing on those movies is mad, but, you know, you have Margot Robbie, and that's what it does. Yeah. I feel as though the new Wes Anderson movie will be up for every Oscar, um, as long as the Oscar category involves Margot Robbie. Yeah, okay. Um, moving on from Margot Robbie for like a quick second. Um, there's this new Mario movie coming out starring Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt as Mario. Of, yes, a bunch of cool people like Bowser is Jack Black. Give me your thoughts on that whole announcement. Well, I, I love it personally. I mean, I can't wait to see Chris Pratt do an Italian accent for yes. quite possibly two and a half hours. <laughs> and honestly, though, there's some casting choices I don't exactly agree with. Obviously, you know, they're all... Great actors. Like Ann Taylor Joy is Peach. Right, but I feel as though Peach should have been played by, by Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. That's what I'm saying. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I feel as though it'll be a better match for the character. Yes, okay, so I, I completely agree. Now, one quick topic before we wrap up the show. Margot Robbie is now single. She ended her long-term relationship with her long-term boyfriend. Give me your thoughts on that breakup. I'm currently in her DMs, as of now. <laughs> as of right now, I'm, I'm attempting. Right? <laughs> Will I get it? No. Worst case scenario, I feel as though Jason Derulo might step in. <laughs> He's also now single. And Jason Derulo and Margot Robbie would be a power couple. The greatest musician of all time with the greatest actress of all time. Okay. Well, thank you, Finn, for coming on and talking all entertainment news. Now in the studio with the pledge is Mikey. 
Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mikey. Anyways, Flyers, now it's time to hear from you. So let's get to the announcements. Hey, so High School Quiz Show is having a uh, practice meeting tomorrow in D206. Uh, Senora Goldfarb are doing some trivia. Swing by tomorrow after school, D206. It's going to be awesome. Good morning, everyone. My name is Neela Farnorian, and I'm the president of the SAC. I'm here to remind you to please fill out the environmental survey that was sent out by your vice principals to your emails. Since we make presentations to the school committee and the superintendent, the more students that fill out the survey, the better they'll, able, they'll be able to serve you. Thank you, and please remember to fill out the survey. Uh, once again, Framingham Basketball will be having a meeting today at 2.30 in K-19. If you're thinking about playing basketball this winter, uh, come on down. It'll be good to see some new faces. And yeah, we'll have talk about workouts and upcoming stuff. Well, Flyers, that's all for today's episode of The Early Bird. Remember, if you want to watch this episode of The Early Bird or Fly News again, you can watch the, any episode you missed on our YouTube at Framium High Studios. Thank you, Finn, once again for coming on and talking entertainment with me. And shout out Ben Lincoln for giving me 51 cents yesterday after, after football practice, which was just enough for me to buy some happiness. Have a great Wednesday, FHS, and remember, The Early Bird gets the win. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.